Yo, what's going on guys? It is FoxyDo98 here. Welcome back to a brand new video for you guys today here on my channel. Today I am going to be doing a new challenge or sort of like an experiment video. So uh, as you would have known about maybe nearly two weeks ago now, I did a video and it was how slow is 0% AI on F1 2017. And I brought that video out A because it was just a bit of fun and B because I was genuinely curious. Uh, so I was expecting, you know, about 500 odd views, something like that, that'll be fine. It has nearly 300,000 views. I don't know how it does, but it does. Um, and I just want to say a massive thank you for that, for everyone to watch it, watching the video. That was absolutely insane. Didn't think of that, but today I'm going to go and basically do the role reversal. So uh, as you can see, I'm going to be driving in the McLaren Honda as Stoffel van Dorn because um, he is the Belgian home favorite. And I'm going to go back to Belgium where the challenge first kicked off. But this time, I need to change that to a 25% race. I'm not going to be finding out how... We found out how slow 0% AI was. So I want to know, because I don't race on it, and I can say that with all heart, because everyone has their own skill levels, how fast is 110% AI? Now, I race on 106. That's the difficulty I race on when the term comes to career mode. But I want to see how fast 110% AI is. Uh, so the challenge is, is this. I'm going to drive as the McLaren Honda, the Stoffel van Dorm, 25% race. The objective is not to get lapped. I cannot get lapped by the AIs. Um, I probably won't, but who knows, because I'm driving the McLaren Honda. So in terms of the direct comparison then, on 0% AI, the fastest lap, I believe, was a 1 minute 58. The fastest lap here in Belgium on 110 is a 143.3. Meaning that there is, if I can actually do maths properly, a 15 second gap difference between the entire AI spectrum. Wow, that's a really big advantage and I'm going to get screwed. Also, I forgot to say, I'm going to be starting last. I just crashed out of the race, so uh, yeah, thought I'd put that out there. Alright then guys, so as you can see, we're here on for the Belgian Grand Prix to start things off. And we're going to be going on from a set of super soft tyres to a set of ultra soft tyres. Just like we did with the 0% AI challenge, apart from this time, it's 110% AI. And uh, like we said, the rule is not to get um, not to get lapped. That's all we got to do, apart from that. Let's get this race underway then. Five red lights, and that's a bad start from us. But again, starting on super softs, what you kind of expect. I'm just going to dive it into last source and see what I can get out of this. Side by side with Science, alongside Magnuson. We're going to go side by side up a Rouge. Oh, great. Oh, I'm looking forward to this. Yo, fair play to Science. We actually held it up O Rouge. But now look at the straight line speed of that Toro Rosso. It's insanely fast. But I have better brakes. So, yeah, I'm just going to sort of lunge it into Lecom. There we go. Move secure. And Jolien Palmer's now attacking science for good measure on my for me. Next up is Kevin Magnuson. Doubt I'll probably be able to catch him because I'm in a McLaren. This is a really depressing sight when I'm seeing Jolien Palmer overtaking me towards Blanchemont. The hand of anger goes up. Can I defend around Palmer? He's going to go around the outside into Blanchemont. I'm going to have to give him a, as much space as possible. Oh, wow. He's literally just gone straight through on the outside. Wow, okay. I'm just going to outbreak him into bus stop if I can get the car slowed down in time. I can get it slowed down. I think he's still there on my inside. There we go. I'm leaving the room. There we go. Right. Up still in P15, but we're already 2.3 seconds behind Kevin Magnussen. We are that slow in this McLaren. It's unreal. Oh, goodness me. Right. Let's get the power down. Let's see if I can try and close up Magnussen. Hopefully, they get, like, held up or something. But odds on is I'm going to get overtaken by Palmer, so I should probably keep this car in rich and defend. That was a bit messy on the exit of Eau Rouge. I'm not going to lie. Palmer's got going to have a great run here. I'm going to go to the inside to defend. Is he... Wow, he hasn't actually got enough to... Wow, come on, Joe. I've given you chance. I sort of tuck my way around the outside. There's a yellow flag, I think. Is that behind? I don't really know. I don't. I shouldn't really be bothering, to be honest. Right. Comfortably through... Oh, yeah, it is in front of us. That's Roman Grosjean out of the race. That's a shame. Hopefully that, that should have... Is that brought out a safety car? That'd be really nice, because then I can close back up. But right now, I'm just in a world of defending for P14. Just 
Joe is going for it again towards Blanchimont. I'm going to have to give him this. He's going to go clean around the outside. Wow, this McLaren sucks. I'm going to have to do him on the brakes. He's given me the outside line to go with, so I'm going to use the outside line. Swoop it, park it on the apex, give him a very good squeeze wide, and that is comfortably back into P14. Still defending for my life uh, in this stage with Jolie and Palmer. You would have expected it. Nice knowing everybody. Yeah, DRS, slipstream. I feel absolutely useless. I've missed my breaking point to Lecom. Yeah, I've missed it. All right, I'm going to concede the position to this. Yeah, I'm going to concede the position to Verline because both of those are not that, technically not Verline, but Palmer was definitely in front at the time. Um, and now Carlos Sainz wants to go down my insides for good measure. And he's going to actually, he's actually going to make it stick. Wow. Into the corner with no name, which technically has a name, which is the corner with no name. And we got the position back off Sainz. Um, but yeah. This, um, this challenge is really depressing. I don't like it. I hate it. And I want to get off these tires. And I want to get out of this car. Well, that's another position. About to get lost. There goes Carlos Sainz flying past. In his extremely sexy looking Toro Rosso. And I've got Marcus Ericsson behind me. Can I get Sainz into here? I'm going to lunge it sort of. And then I'm going to give myself a slightly tighter line going to give me better apex really without D even with drs i still can't catch signs right last source bomb that was really late that was really bad he's just going to switch back underneath me actually not quite we're going to go side by side into overage actually no i say that uh, we're not going to go side by side into overage because science is just too fast great i'll stick with him and get drs There we go. Down the insides. Oh, and he's still there. Oh, and he's giving me a nice whack for good measure as well. But I got the position back off Sainz. And, uh, yeah. The d oh, my God. The traction he's got off of there. I'm going to have to cover that off. Jeez, Sainz. Sainz wants to come back for more. He's going towards it in towards Blanchemont. He's just going to go clean around. Yeah. Yeah. Just take the position, Sainz. Why not? Oh, for goodness sake. This is really stressful. I can see why everyone likes driving the McLaren on. Oh, wait. Let's sort of give myself another tighter line to last source attack. Alonso pits and so does Marcus Ericsson. Oh, God. I've hit science. Wow. That's how slow I am. That's how slow I am. The Saubers... Sorry, not the Saubers. The Williams and the Force Indias have already jumped me in the pits. Wow, that's terrible. I might get lapped. My challenge is not to get lapped. Oh, and I've got... Right, this is going to compare it. A Williams versus a McLaren. Here we go. Yep. 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 Not even going to fight it. What's the point? Going to tuck in underneath and try and follow him. Oh, Lewis Hamilton's out of the race. That's a really big casualty to have out of this Belgian Grand Prix. Where where did he retire from? I'm not quite sure. There it is there, just on the ex just on the exit of Puan. Fair enough. Okay, that's a, a big retiree. So one of the leaders out of the race, and that uh, decreases my chances of being lapped. It makes no difference. I'm still going to get lapped. I'm being attacked by Hulkenberg. Thanks, Jeff. Thanks for telling me about Hulkenberg. Odds are I'm going to finish last in this race. Here we go. Here comes Hulkenberg. I'm going to give him the inside into Blanchemont, I think, because I'm not really going to be fighting him. Kafiat's going to get boxed in. There goes Hulkenberg. If I can stick with him, I might just dive him in the chicane for the Lels. Do a little bit of a Fernando Alonso-esque style dive. That's a big dive. That was pretty reckless, I'm not going to lie. I'll switch back underneath him, though. And I don't even have the straight line speed to freaking do so. Some information on Alonso. They seem to have an issue. Couldn't even do the switch back that time. Here comes K-Mag. Oh, God. K-Mag and Hulkenberg are going to go side by side. No, all right. I was going to say. I'm going to box this lap as well, though, because I'm fed up with these super softs. 
I've got a Fiat literally just hunt stalking me now. Well, that's just a comparison, isn't it? I oh, stuck with the DRS. It's awesome watching Hulkenberg and Magnuson just battling away. The problem is, is I can't get anywhere near them. Just, you know, really good battling, just I can't get anywhere near the pair of them. And they've gone into the distance now. Alright, we're coming into the pits now for our one and only stop. I'm probably going to end up stone dead last, um, which is really, really depressing. But this just shows to you how fast 110% AI is, I guess. Um, on go the purple ultra softs. And out Please, I go. And I'm going to be nice and really happy and stone dead last. I'm really happy for myself, to be honest. Nope, it, it's like wanting. Uh, I just. I don't know. Right. To the end We're in last, uh, but we are on ultra soft, so we might be able to make a difference. So Alonso and Ericsson have jumped me in the pit stops, and I'm still right at the back. I've got a great run, Fernando, though. Why does my McLaren all of a sudden feel like a lightning bolt? There's five laps of fuel remaining. See, now my McLaren feels like a lightning bolt. I don't get it. Lost three tenths of a second to a Sauber in the final sector. That just shows how poor this McLaren Honda is in a straight line, which is why I picked it for this challenge. I've dropped Alonso by nearly three seconds already. It's just this car sucks balls everywhere else. Also as well, just for the interest of people that have been wanting to know, they're my assists. So for people that... I mean, there's some people that constantly complain, you know, you're running with like TC and all that stuff. I don't run with them. All I run with is corners only and also ABS on, mainly due to the fact that my braking is just genuinely really bad. So, uh, yeah, just for that, I uh, use all those just to help my braking points and help uh, everywhere, really. I, only, I don't really need corner line. I only really need it just for braking, but the only way to get braking is to have the full corner on, where I wish there was only one just for braking only. But, uh, yeah, they're the assists I use if anyone was interested for future videos or just anyone had any queries about it. Some front wing just came off. Esteban Ocon that's got a problem. Now Ericsson and Ocon are both having some issues here. Yeah, both have got problems. Ocon would not be down here. Neither would Ericsson. I think someone lost their wing though. Oh my god! Jesus Christ! To the pair of you, what was that? I had to get my super reaction skills out for that one. Jesus Christ. Both of them pit as well, so both have lost their front wing in some sort of kerfuffle there with Pascal Verline nearly 10 seconds clear of me. Jesus Christ. Alright, coming into the bus stop chicane then to end this Belgian Grand Prix, end my torture. I didn't finish plum last, which is fine. I'll, I'll take that, but... Yeah, overall, that was uh, that was tough, to be honest. That was really hard. Um, we got P15, uh, which is uh, okay-ish, but there it is, guys. I did the experiment of how slow is 0% AI, and uh, I've now done the experiment of how fast 110% AI is. So we'll just see who get onto, got onto the podium, and we'll see the full race classification. So, yeah, we know Mercedes won. Um, so, yeah, it was yeah, Bottas first, Raikkonen second. Vettel in third, no, the two rebels, yeah, pretty much. So, uh, there it is, guys. Uh, the fastest lap from Valtteri Bottas was a 146 uh, flat, so a 146 flat. My fastest lap time was a 1 minute 50.2, meaning that the AIs were four seconds quicker than me. Uh, and I set a fast lap than Alonso. So, in fact, it was literally just me and Fernando were the slowest on the track. The two Saubers were into the 49s, it was only me and Fernando. They couldn't get into the 49s. But there it is, guys. That right there just quite frankly shows off how fast 110% AI is. So if you guys did enjoy today's video, don't forget to click the like on the video. That'd be absolutely awesome. And subscribe if you have not yet subscribed to the channel already. And I will see you guys for another video very, very soon. Take care all. Peace.